what's happening YouTube thought I would bring you guys up to speed on a few things the um, trip to Texas so next week on Monday I'm actually leaving for uh, and the process has been terrible like I've got to have had to have the, the COVID test all that stuff it came back negative of course and we get on an airplane uh, really early Monday morning, fly to Calgary, fly to Atlanta, sit there for six hours, end up in Dallas, Texas sometime around 11 p.m. But it's worth it. It's a work conference. But with my upcoming match with Chance Shaw, which is happening at the beginning of October, I also have an opportunity to uh, actually train with this man right here. Yes, and a big. Let's go, Jansen. Oh! Here we go, man! Let's go about this guy now! That was a solid pick. Go! Come on! Come on. And that man, of course, is Robbie Burnett and his crew, so. Um. The guys have been very inviting to me. They've got a whole club down there I'm going to train with. But Robbie is the last guy to, other than it's not named John Berzink, to actually beat Chance. That was only about three months ago. So I get to go train with that crew. And um, Danny Gillian's actually picking me up at the airport, at the airport, sorry, my hotel on Wednesday evening. And I'm going to head over to their club do some hard training. So they actually made a post on Facebook that I am coming to train. And very interestingly, Travis Bajant said, I'll be there too. Now, I'm not sure if he's just trolling or what's going on, but it appears that Travis might actually be joining us for that practice, which is amazing. I've never actually practiced pulled with Travis ever. Anytime we have pulled... Uh, it has been in a real situation. So, I would like the opportunity to find maybe where he's got some holes in his game. But, you know, just hanging out with Travis is always fun. And those guys, I'm sure I'm going to get busted up real good. I'm not going to train from... Uh, Spencer and I trained all week right up until yesterday. It's Saturday today. We don't train weekends. And I got to take off so early on Monday that I won't get to train Monday, Tuesday. So I'll be uh, pretty well rested for that practice. Looking forward to getting beat up by those guys. And then we come home. And then we come home. And we uh, continue to rest up. There might be an opportunity for me to do some pulling at an event at somewhere along the way in between. I know that uh, in between now and October, I know that Jody Williams has actually thrown it out there that... Uh, Every other guy, every other guy in the class has something scheduled before arm wars, and I don't, and I don't, and I might make that happen. It may not. We'll have to see. It might be going in there, and that'll be the first time I've pulled in a competitive situation um, in about two years, and that could definitely happen. But either way, I'm still feeling confident. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to gauge myself against some guys next week that have uh, got wins on chance and see what they think as well. And then when I get back, TAL3, of course, has been scheduled, and I'm pulling Georgie. And I know I'm not saying his name right, but for us North Americans, Georgie. And I'm pulling him both arms. So that's going to be super fun. Matt Mask has actually just booked a match as well. And Matt's opponent is tough. And if you want to see the details on that, head over to the TAL Facebook page. But um, there is an opportunity there that maybe, provided we come out of our super matches all kind of, you know, unscathed, that we all end up in that same tournament together. Which is always the intent, but you never know what's going to happen. And then maybe Matt and I will have an opportunity to pull in that event. But I know that uh, there's some other guys that, you know, want to jump in there and take a piece of us too. So that will be fun as well. And then if we fast forward a little bit after that, probably the next thing I got going on is uh, some vacation time. And then 
setting the world straight between us and Cody, or between myself and Cody Merritt. And I believe that one is early 2022, and Brian Kerner is the guy that's going to hold that event. So that's basically what I have lined up between now, February, March-ish. And I'm definitely open to another event somewhere in the mix there. And once that happens, guys, I probably need a little break if all these events happen in succession, but we'll see. We'll see. Motivations can change, of course. I would like to also say that from Texas next week, there's a good chance that I'm jumping on Arm Talk for the first time. I've been talking to Jody, so watch for that. And I want to wish good luck today to both Derek Smith and Tom Nelson. I like both you guys. I don't know who I'm cheering for in the event. I would like to see Derek come to Arm Wars with a win. And, um, yeah, check that out too, King of California. That's the updates, guys. That's the updates. And, of course, Western Survivor Beef Jerky, thank you for the sponsorship and Fueled by Supplement King, Porters of the Prairie.